Now we've got CES 2020 out of the way. More details, videos and generally more is being announced and being shared by the manufacturers as we get a lot closer to seeing these TVs in the shops. Now, Sony were, of course, not lacking in their range of TVs that they announced with a nice range of 8K sets, LCD and, of course, OLED, which is what we're looking at here. Now, unfortunately, there's no pricing has been announced just yet, but I would imagine that that would be likely make an appearance more towards nearer the launch, which really shouldn't be that far away. The OLED side with Sony is actually uh, not too groundbreaking and in fact some of the panels are in fact rebranded versions of the 2019 models. Now this is of course quite common where we see the higher range tech from last year move down to sort of the more mid-range sets and a lower price. Now whilst the new 2020 tech is used for the sort of higher range models as it were. Here, this seems not to be the case. It appears that this is not entirely um, conclusive, by the way, but from what we're gathering, that the A9 is basically the A9G from last year with a few extra bells and whistles added on top. In this case, with the addition of uh, Sony's X Motion Clarity function, basically a technology now available on OO. OLED that improves image quality during fast moving images, um, sadly at the, at the sacrifice of some brightness. Now there's similar tech that we're seeing across the 2020 model range this year such as a Acoustic Surface Audio Plus, uh, Xmotion Clarity, Pixel Booster and all running um, except one set I believe the X1 Ultimate Processor. Now there's also, in this case, the ambient optimiz optimization technology that adjusts the image accordion according to the ambient light in the room. Now what is interesting is that there is also a new 48 inch version of the OLED TV range too, which is ideal and I would assume aimed at gamers. If you found this video of interest please consider giving me a thumbs up that really helps my channel and this video of course and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and make sure you click the bell to be alerted of more videos as and when I do them which is almost daily thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time